Allah forgives all sins, but Allah is also just. Allah will never forgive me for a sin that was, if I perform a sin that harmed an individual, Allah cannot forgive me for that sin. Why? Because I took the right of an individual, therefore I need to seek forgiveness from that individual. Allah cannot forgive an individual for something that he harmed someone else with. So in Islam, and this is important for Muslims, Allah forgives all sins that's between you and Allah. Allah can do as He pleases, but Allah is just. Don't ever think that I can steal money from this brother, but I'll patch it up with lots of dua and lots of salah and lots of whatever you want and think that Allah is going to forgive me for it. No, Allah will forgive me for the sin of maybe stealing, but Allah, it's, Allah says it's not in His place to forgive me for harming him. You need to seek permission and forgiveness from that brother. So as far as Islam is concerned, yes, Allah forgives all sins, but not sins that have to do with other people. You need to seek forgiveness from each other. And then whatever is between us and Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala can forgive. Allah in His nature, He says my mercy, He says my mercy and my forgiveness overpowers, overcomes my wrath. Whatever is between you and Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala can forgive all sins. Anyone who seeks forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so long as my crime is between me and Allah, Allah can forgive. As far as the Islamic perspective is concerned, what separates Muslims from anything else is that as a, you know, as a Muslim, we don't need permission from anyone. I don't need to go to any man or to any concept or to any idol or to anything. If I've done sin, if I've done wrong in my life, between me and Allah, any place, any situation, wherever you are, whoever you are, you turn to God, you raise your hands, you ask for forgiveness and Allah says, I will forgive all sins.